Welcome to another episode of the Azure Perfect Quick Start series. Today it's the time of Azure Key Vault and Azure Perfect combination. I would like to talk about the need of integrating Azure Key Vault into Azure Perfect and how you need to configure your Key Vault that Perfect can talk and work with it. So let's start with the demo. Let's move into the Perfue Studio, if I find it here. What you need is an existing Azure Perfue instance. In addition, you need an existing Azure Key Vault. So I've created one, Key Vault for Perfue demo. So that is the one I'm gonna use and connect my Perfue instance to. Where do we find it? Well, it's here in the management tab. So I'm going to move to the management tab and in the credentials. I've already configured some credentials and I've already configured one key vault connection, but you can configure and manage multiple key vault connections in Azure Perfue. So if you put the uh, new key vault in here, so that is the one I'm going to use and connect, select that one, it's that one. and now there's one thing really, 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 really needed. It's the thing that you need to uh, allow Azure Perfue to access and work with the uh, Perfue, uh, the, the keyboard, sorry for that. So there are two ways that it's listed here. So all those information needed is listed here. In the Key Vault, we've got two ways to access and define the access for the Perfue. So we can use the access control or the access policies. Let's start with the access policies. Let's head over here and we need to add new policies. Add access policy. No, I'm going to use that one. What Perfue needs is the get and list operations or the secrets. So that is the thing you configure. That is part one. Configure access policy. Option two, let's get back to access control, role assignments, and I'm going to add a new role assignment over here. And I'm looking for the key vault secrets user. So that is the, the role we need to assign and we need to assign our Perfue managed instance to. So Azure Key Vault secrets user, I'm gonna go here, select the members and uh, search for the name of your Perfue account. So that is the thing we need to add here. Select that one, Key Vault secrets user, Perfue uh, managed instance, review and design, and add it to the key vault as key vault secrets use. So that is the thing you need. That's option two. Option one is access policies. Now let's head over to the Perfue and uh, create that one. And now you are reminded again, there's option one over here, access policies and option two, Perfue Key Vault Secrets user. Confirm that one and the second connection is listed over here. So that is the thing you need to do first, create a connection. Afterwards, it's like adding credentials over here. So you can add a new credential over here and you can use one of those authentication methods like SQL authentication for connecting to a SQL server and you can add a username. And now it's the way where we need the already created a uh, key vault connection over here. So we can select that one and we can define and put the name of the secret in here. So we've got no secrets in here. Okay. We're gonna create a new one. That one is my very secret password. And I'm going to put password over here, create that one. 
So the secret is created and I move back to the Azure Perfume the very secret password, it's the name of my secret. And that one is the key vault connection I created before. Create that one. Now I've got a credential over here and I've, I named it credential. So that is not the best way, but as you can see, be aware, you can't change the name afterwards. So that is a thing I hope that will change in the future. So now it's only named credential. And where do you need those credentials? Well, it's here in the data map. It's with the sources. And if I go here to the SQL and I create a new scan and just to remember the, um, the uh, connection to the source system, it's not done when you create a source. It's needed when you create a scan. So I'm going to need and create a new scan new scan for credentials with key vault and uh, select the database. And now it's the time to select the credentials and you can use, oh, I'm going to use the managed identity of Azure Perfume or let's create the newly created um, credential using the key vault connection. In my case, I'm going to use that one and it's non-existing um, credentials, so the test connection won't work, but the concept should be clear. So what we need is we need to confi uh, configure a new connection, Azure Key Vault and Azure Perfume. Next step is to create credentials in here, all done in the management credential tab. So we've got the credentials over here. You can select different types of authentication. And then as the next step, you use it in your scan. And with that, that was the quick introduction to the topic of Azure Key Vault and Azure Perfume, how you can start and create your first Azure Key Vault connection in Azure Perfume. With that, if you have any questions, put them into the comments below. I'm happy to get your feedback. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay curious and catalog your data.